A new COVID-19 variant is spreading fast. And no, this isn't just another blip on the radar. It's already making its presence known across more than 22 countries, and the World Health Organization has flagged it as a variant under monitoring. So, what exactly is NB.1.8.1, and should you be worried? Welcome to 2230. This is the latest variant the world is keeping an eye on, and here's why you need to stay informed. NB.1.8.1 is a subvariant of the SARS CoV 2 virus, the virus that causes COVID 19. It was first identified in January 2025 and is now quietly but steadily spreading worldwide. From Southeast Asia to Europe and across the Americas, this new variant has gone from just 2.5% of global cases a month ago to over 10% today. That's a quadrupling in its global share in just four weeks. What's causing this surge? It comes down to mutations. NB.1.8.1 has evolved from an earlier recombinant variant called XDV.1.5.1 and carries extra spike protein mutations, the very parts of the virus that attach to our cells. These changes make it more transmissible, giving it an advantage over the current dominant strain LP.8.1. That's the scientific way of saying, it spreads faster, especially in places where people have not had recent boosters or where public health vigilance has dropped. But there's some relief. Current data shows that NB.1.8.1 does not appear to cause more severe illness. The WHO has made this clear. It also doesn't escape vaccine protection any more effectively than LP.8.1, though lab results suggest it's slightly more resistant in some cases. Pseudovirus tests, using blood plasma from previous COVID infections like BA.5 and others, show that while NB.1.8.1 is more resistant than LP.8.1.1, it's still within the immune system's reach, especially if you've had recent vaccines or infections. Vaccine responses in mice show neutralizing antibodies are only slightly reduced, which is promising news. But this variant's spread is the real story. It's now officially on the WHO's radar as a variant under monitoring, meaning scientists are tracking how quickly it spreads, how well it responds to immunity, and whether it could evolve into something worse. Dr. Scott Roberts from Yale recommends that now is the time to get a booster, especially if you've not had one recently or haven't been infected in a while. Boosters could still be the key to preventing large-scale outbreaks. So the real question is this, are we prepared for a potential resurgence? Or have we already let our guard down too far? What do you think? Are booster campaigns enough? Should Singapore tighten surveillance again if cases rise? Or are we entering a stage where society must simply adapt? Let us know what you think in the comments. Tap like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for deep dives into the stories that matter. Your engagement helps us bring these important issues to light. Stay informed, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.